Generally, once you get up to that level of running air tools, uh, the compressor's got to be fairly powerful. I would not recommend anything less than half a horsepower. Uh, otherwise, your times to refill the tank will be too long. So you'd be doing one lug nut at a time type of deal. Uh, it might take you, you know, by the time you do that, you can get them all off by hand. Uh, so the continuous duty motors that we have on ours start at half a horsepower, go up to three quarter horse, and all the way up to one and a half horse. Uh, by having the continuous duty motor, it stays cool, but the, the beauty is the, the, the horsepower buys you CFM, which buys you speed to refill the tank. Uh, you know, people say, oh, I can run my air tool right off a compressor. You could do that off these, but it won't be efficient because you're only dealing with whatever line pressure you have in your 20 or 30 foot air hose. Your torque values will be all over the place. So ask yourself why in the biggest automotive shops do those giant 5, 10, 15 horsepower compressors still run air tanks. They use them to get, have a constant flow of air so their, their, their die grinders, their impact guns, their wrenches aren't all over the board on, on performance, especially torque values. The, the air tank size, you'll get more volume with the bigger tank so it's more stored or kinetic energy. So by storing more energy, you can run your impact gun, for example, longer. So maybe one four gallon tank will get all eight lug nuts off a uh, Super Duty like this, whereas a two gallon tank may only get four or five off. Uh, it depends on the truck. Uh, the lug nuts on a Super Duty are approximately 100 pounds of torque, as opposed to maybe you know a 60 pound torque on a lighter duty vehicle. So the more energy it takes to get the lug nut off, the more air you're going to use. Uh, one of the things that we find is a lot of customers will call and say, you know, I can't get one lug nut off with my with my impact gun, and I'm like, well, how much air do you have in your tank? So it's at 125 psi. Uh, is there something wrong with the compressor? I said, well, the compressor's not even running. All the energy is coming from the tank. Uh, what kind of gun are you running? If you're going to spend thirty or forty dollars on an impact gun, it's not going to get lug nuts off a, a heavy duty truck like a super duty or a three quarter ton. They're, they're just not efficient. You're going to need to spend a little bit of money to get a decent quality impact because if the tank with 125 psi isn't getting the lug nut off, it's not the compressor because it's not even running. The stored energy in the tank is running the tool. So you're gonna, you know, any name brand tool will be better. Craftsman, Ingersoll Rand, Snap-on, there's a, there's a lot of them out there, but you're gonna spend, you know, probably at least $100 on a decent impact gun.